Greetings everyone, welcome back to Dawn of Dreams. It is Priest of the African River Eagle, aka Ms. Z on this channel. If you would, please make sure that you like and subscribe, comment down below which one you chose. I love to read the comments. If you would like to book a reading with me, please go to dawnofdreams.com. The link is always in the description box along with the timestamps. If this reading resonates with you and if you would like to send a little donation, anything helps, um, that cash app will be in the description as well. If you want to get a course from me, I also have a spiritual courses so that you can develop. Check that out on the website along with other products that I sell. Um, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, please go over there. It's the same name. All right, so that's enough with the announcements. This is going to be, you always know, I think every reading is a quick reading. <laughs> um, so we're just jumping in to see what the ancestors have to tell us uh, for right now. So, uh, so these are ancestor messages. And so I have uh, three piles for you guys today, as always. Um, and let me pull these together. You get two cards, because that's the way Spirit laid it out for me, but you're gonna pick between the top card, okay? So the top card, the first one is the Kadu. Um, and it does say, do help save us, but these are very old cards, okay? Uh, the Rhino is the second pile. And the third pile we have is the cheetah. And I love animals because animals, um, everybody on this earth has a totem, has a clan totem, you know, um, animals that are associated with our heritage and things like that. So it's very important for me um, to connect us back to the animals. Um, they give us messages and we used to have a very strong connection to animals. Some of us still do. Um, so it's very important to show that. Anyway, so first pile, the Kadu, pile one, pile two, the Rhino, pile three, the Cheetah. So whichever one you feel drawn to, let's get your ancestral message. All right, pile number one. Let's look at the first cards that you pick before I pull some more. Um, so you pick the Kadu, all right? So the ancestors are saying that, um, and this is the hidden card. The ancestors are saying that, um, one, People can't bring you down, all right? They can try. They can try with all their might. Um, they may even make you pull out your hair. But at the end of the day, they cannot break you. Um, some of you have been going through certain things. Rather, it is abusive relationships or it is abuse as far as people taking advantage of you. Uh, a lot of different types of stress, um, you know, coming from this way or that way. You may have had certain relationships in as far as friendships. You just may have had uh, people putting a lot on you at the job, but Spirit is saying they cannot break you. They can't break you. And another thing is, with the second card, a lot of people underestimate you. The ancestors want you to find value in yourself, okay? No matter how small you think your impact is, you do make an impact, okay? Um, and it's not a small impact. I think that you have that mentality that you only make a small impact in certain things that you do. But spirits talking about a lot of you could change the world if you want to. Like, um, it's just like throwing a rock in the river. Like that one rock, when it hits the river, it makes like waves going through. So it's like, that's you, you know? Um, I think that you underestimate yourself a lot and spirit wants you to stop doing that. Spirit wants you to have the confidence in whatever it is that you are able to offer, rather big or small. And that's one thing I want to talk about too when it comes to like, you know, um, everybody can't be a Whitney Houston. Everybody can't be a powerhouse singer, right? Uh, sometimes we need uh, the, the small singers, the ones with the smaller voices because it shows variety. Spirit says um, like, they want you to remember that everybody has a purpose. You know, there's apples and there's oranges. You might be the orange and you have to showcase that gift. They want you to capitalize on your gifts. Your ancestors have given you something and they want you to capitalize on it. Okay, do not underestimate what you bring to the table. Because I feel like the ancestors are also saying that, you know, though people try to put you down, they also can't live without you, okay? They also need you to be a part of the team. And um, that little buzzing noise is my little fan. Sorry, not sorry, okay? <laughs> it could be a lot louder, but I'm keeping it on a low. All right, so let's see. What does the ancestors have to say to you right now? I guess I can 
go ahead and flip these over. These two are coming together. A lot of people are trying to put you down because they are jealous of you, you know? Um, <laughs> you have a don't give up kind of attitude. And a lot of people don't like that. They want you to give up. They want you to, again, not value yourself and what you bring to the table. The ancestors are also showing me for some of you, there's going to be something that you start, whether it is a business or it is some type of creative project that's actually going to do a lot in the future. So something you're supposed to start right now is actually going to make a bigger impact in the future. So you have to be patient. Okay. Um, and don't let distractions, don't let people discourage you from getting started, from starting something off because they don't see the value in it. Okay. Um, I've seen a lot of things like that and we all have when it comes to creation a lot of people don't see the value in it now and then it pop off later and it's a million dollar idea that's what the ancestors are saying to you like hey you know you think it's not that big because you can't see the vision that we see the, the future and they're talking about pay attention to your visions that you're receiving right now they're very important because they're going to branch off it's going to pay off in the future something that you think is small is actually going to be very big and it's going to create a lot of wealth for you but you have to see it through okay do not let jealous people and toxic energy stop you from getting something started or continuing something that you've already started that you feel like ain't popped off right now oh my business not moving oh things are not moving for me right now it doesn't matter spirit is telling you to keep going with it stick with it okay be loyal to it because it's going to make a huge impact in the future mm. Um, your ancestors are also wanting you to get closer to your spirituality. Some of you have fallen off of your practices that you need to be consistent with, okay? Um, this also helps you to relax. Some of your meditations and certain things that you were doing, they were helping you to keep a, a calm mentality, um, keep things at bay, keep negative energy at bay. So they're wanting you to start back with that. Some of you need to cleanse your home as well too. Let's get a few more ancestral messages and then we're going to go over to number two. If you just started a job and you don't get it yet, stick with it. You'll get it. Okay? Just stick with it. It's something that you guys just need to stick with. See it through. Don't let others discourage you while they're telling you you're making mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. Okay? It's okay to make mistakes because... This is how you learn, but you are going to be like the greatest, you know, come a few months from now, come a year from now. Like it's going to be really, really impactful. Something that you're doing now is going to pay off in the future. If you're in school, stay in school, you know, that's if you need to. All right. I'm not trying to influence anybody there because that's, that's money. That's a lot of different things. But if you needed a sign about staying sticky with something, this is that sign. Like stick with it because something's going to pay off for you. Mm -hmm. mm. The ancestors are also talking about some truth that's, that has come to you through a certain situation and they're saying that this is to protect you. Uh, sometimes we have to see people for what they really are. I'm also seeing that there's a lack of support in this pile. A lot of people in this pile don't get a lot of support and sometimes you just need to see it for what it is so that you can stand on your own two feet. Um, and use you know your spirits to help you through wherever you feel like you're lacking. They also want you to open up your vision. A lot of you aren't seeing things for yourself. You don't see big things for yourself. You kind of settle for a lot of things. They want you to stop doing that. Don't settle. It says a limited vision. Anything is possible. They also want you to laugh at the haters, but also just laugh at life. Don't take things too seriously. Don't take people too seriously because they're still living their life just like you're living yours. They don't understand everything about you, and it's not for them to. They want you to find your prayer and inner peace, but this goes back to you developing spiritually and keeping up with your spiritual practices. Last couple cards from the ancestors. Mm -hmm. 
See, you are meant to do big things. You're meant to do big things because you have the hardworking assets to coming out. It says, don't waste your life working for others. Fulfill your dreams. Be motivated. Know your worth. Know your worth. Even if they don't see your worth, you know, even if they don't see your impact, know your worth. Go somewhere where people appreciate you, you know, and also you can create your own space. Um, but don't underestimate yourself. Don't lower your value. They want you to follow your dreams. This is another sign about that. Follow your dreams. See the vision. Even if no one sees it for you, you have to see it through. Um, your ancestors are saying, hey, we've already lived a hard life. We want you to really, truly go for the things that you want to go for. And again, with the visions, uh, this is also a sign to pay attention to your dreams as well, too, because they speak to you there. Know that you can rely on um, your spirits to protect you as well. But you also have to raise your frequency. When you're low in vibration and you're not feeling confident, um, it also affects you know how you, how you move around in the world. So raise your energy up. Don't let things get you down, okay? All right, so this is uh, pile one. Let's go to pile two. All right, so pile two, you chose the rhino. All right, so with this pile, okay, I told you you got two cards. You also got the gazelle. Um... Your ancestors are saying that, you know, they see how hard you're working. You know, a lot of you have been working very, very hard without complaints. And this is going to pay off for you. I also feel something else. And it's like it's almost feeding off a of pile one, too. But in this pile, you may find yourself in positions of working extremely hard. Um, people, you know, take advantage of the fact that you are working 24 hours a day. <laughs> and when I say 24 hours a day, I'm not you're speaking literally, but you know, sometimes a lot of us can't catch a break. When we get off of work, we cannot catch a break. I damn near work 24 hours a day, you know? So it's like everything is constantly going. So this is a sign to take a break and also to set your standards where people aren't working you to death. Okay. Because they see you're a hard worker. Anytime that I've had a job, everyone would know, you know, oh, that's a hard worker. So, um, and they can spot you out really quickly because you'll be doing a lot more things. You'll be staying overtime. You'll be doing a lot of other things. So people said, um, excuse me, your ancestors say, don't let people abuse you and the work that you're capable of doing. Okay. But your hard work will pay off. I'm also seeing a trip that some of you are going to take or that you need to plan for yourself. Um, this is also going to give you some life experience some of you need. So do take that trip. The ancestors are also talking about speed. Um, things happening very quickly for you. Um, you being able to get around hurdles. You being able to get a lot of things done at this time. Excuse me. I don't see too many obstacles being in your way. So again, this is just right now, the ancestors are really, really focused and you may feel like there's a lot of pressure on you, but I really feel like you'll be able to get a lot of things accomplished uh, very quickly, okay? And especially with the 10, the 10 is completion. Like, even though it might be hard work, even though it might be stressful, it's like you're finally done with this. You're finally done with that debt. You're finally done with this project. You're finally done with a lot of different things, okay? So, um... Just kind of stick with it. Don't overwork yourself, but stick with it as far as consistency because spirit is making a way for you to get out of certain situations, to get that vacation that you want. I see things moving out of the way with you, especially with the gazelle. I'm also seeing that the ancestors are talking about some of you are dodging spiritual attacks too. Like you're like, uh, -uh you know, not today, not today. <laughs> I ain't with the drama, not today. And that's a good way to be as well because I see, again, you have a goal in mind. People in this pile are very focused, and that's exactly where the ancestors want you to be. Let's get more information from the ancestors. all these over hold on okay this reading is going to switch over into a few different things um and that's okay all right because i do have some spiritual people in this pile so i'm going to move over to you um some of you guys are seeing things all right um strong connection to um it doesn't even have to be that it could just be seeing all right some of you are seers so there's some things that are being brought to you from the ancestors like uh it's very important that you pay attention to what you see 
Uh, pay attention to your dreams, but also to what you see, okay? Um, and if you want to get clarity on the things that you see, you want to keep yourself clean. So if you've been having issues interpreting messages, it's just because you need to cleanse and just be consistent with your practices. But there's something about you being a seer. Um, some of you are oracles in this pile. And so that's how they translate messages to you through the dream round, through, again, what you see. So pay attention to that. Also, now, like I told you with the rhino, the rhino is a very hard worker, and the rhino can also be a spirit that is abused for the hard work. All right, so one of the things I want to tell you guys is um, for pile number two, make sure that you are taking breaks and make sure that you don't let people, again, run you to the ground, you know, drive you crazy. Even if it's just, hey, drive me here, drive me back and forth, you're helping family members. Tell them, hey, you know, chill out. <laughs> because uh, they're telling you to be mindful of your health. And first, it always starts with our mental health, right? And then it goes down into our physical health. And they're talking about don't be in denial. So you've been receiving signs that you're tired and that you need a break. Yes, I do say be consistent and that your hard work will pay off. But that's for your own personal goals. It doesn't have anything to do with people putting extra work on you, abusing you. That's not what I'm talking about. So they're saying be mindful of your health and don't be in denial about your health either. Some of you are making um, some powerful connections to some animal spirits, okay? Um, and so they're just talking about being consistent with this because, again, I see some spiritual things growing in this pile. Like, I see spirituality growing, certain connections, being able to see things. I just see a lot of spiritual things going on. Because you are tired, uh, your ancestors are talking about it, you're going to be a little more angry if they keep pressing you um, because you got to take a breath and you haven't been able to do that because it's in reverse. So your emotions will be very, very high. Your emotions will be on a high because you're not able to breathe and take a breath, all right? You are not, it says alter maintenance in reverse. You are the foundation, so it's important that you have time for yourself. Now, let's see what else the ancestors have to say before we move on. don't understand what's going on with you but a lot of you are going through certain initiations okay um, because you're picking up on a lot of different energy around you uh, so this means that again your ancestors are saying this is an initiation that you're going through you're able to pick up on people's energy people's pain some of you are will go on to be healers or you are regard that and your gifts are just increasing more wisdom is coming to you at this time some of you who had someone pass away, um, it doesn't have to be very recent, but they are with you. Watching over you. Some of you have a father on the other side or a grandfather that's watching over you as well. Um, okay, spirit also talks about, and when I say spirit, I say it interchangeably with the ancestors. Okay, so um, your ancestors are speaking about be mindful of those who try to come around when you're up, okay? Uh, some of you are, have a big destiny as, as far as like being famous or a public figure, um, you know, something like that. I say public figure at the least because I don't know what lane you guys are in, rather it's YouTube, blogging, I don't know. Um, but they're speaking on the fact that when you start to go up, you will have people around you just for the fact that you're going up. So just be mindful of that. They're like, ah, sometimes we keep people away from you because they don't have good intentions. Uh, because the Spirit is talking about wealth for you. Like I said, there's a lot, of, a lot of energy around your legacy. So a lot of your hard work will pay off. The ancestors also want you to release some of these energies from the past, okay? You're not helpless. You're not able to, um, excuse me, you're not unable to defend yourself at this time in your life because some of you are letting your past where you feel like you've been walked all over, um, a people pleaser, all of those things, you know, you're still trying to carry that with you. 
Um, a lot of you are older now. You know, it doesn't matter if you're young or not. You could be 18 and you could be 50 watching this. You know, Spirit talks about at this point in your life, you do not have to let anybody else win. You don't have to let people control you in any type of way. They want you to stand in your truth, stand tall, be confident in yourself. And I also feel like this has to do with um, destiny as well. Some of you are choosing different destinies and going different paths as far as your spirituality. They want you to remain strong in this. Be confident. It's your life, you know. It's your life. So don't let someone make you feel like you can't live your life. Because you're going a different direction, or you're dressing different, or you're acting different. It's all a part of your journey. Next card, about to. At this point, the ancestors are feeling like you are truly starting to come into your own. You're really starting to learn about yourself um, and who you were meant to be, okay? Because returning home gives me that energy, like you're coming back to you and, and you know, putting yourself together, you know, becoming a full person, you know, not just half of your personality, not just a, a, a few percent of your personality. I'm getting like 90% coming into your own, all right, or 100%. So Spirit says continue to go with this, continue to go with this. Be honest with yourself about who you are. A lot of us don't live in our truths because of other people. So they want you to, you know, remove all that or do your best to because this is your life. They want you to live it how you want to live it, all right? Let's go to Pile 3. All right, for Pile 3, you chose the cheetah, so these are your ancestral messages. All right, your ancestors are saying that um, some of you are going to be in a space of peace, um, and that may require for you to be by yourself, and that is okay. Um, I feel like a lot of people try to copy you, try to bite off your ideas and things that you have going on and your ancestors see that. So sometimes they put you in a space where you can just feel comfortable without all this competition, <laughs> even though it comes anyway. Um, this pile, I feel like you guys have a lot of gifts, uh, multi-talented, the ancestors say multi-talented in this pile because they're giving me um, inventors, creators, and the innovators <laughs> with the water bucks because you're close to the water and water is creation. So uh, where all creation comes from. So you have a very powerful connection to creation. So the ancestors want you to create. A lot of you have a strong connection to the water, okay? The ancestors are also speaking about you getting ahead in many areas of your life where you feel like you know nothing was moving. So this is good too. And that still connects to water, movement. Things aren't stagnant for you anymore. All right, so let's see. What do your ancestors have to say? And I feel like getting these cards, that's what I'm getting. No, shoot. Okay. Um, your ancestors feel like, um, not all the time will we get clarity, but they do feel like you do need some type of clarity from something that hurts you so that you can move forward in your journey. You can move forward in your life and you can look straight ahead. This cheetah is looking straight ahead at what's going on and that's how they want you to be. Um, so if you're not there yet, you know, they're talking about go ahead and resolve whatever it is in your mind that's holding you back and keeping you in a dark space. Um, Your ancestors are talking about a blessing coming to you in the form of finances. But, you know, they want you to transform this finance, this blessing into something good for you. So whether you get a, a raise or you get something, money can come in different forms. It don't just always have to come through the lottery. You know, it can, but it don't have to. Sometimes it comes in more practical ways. So whatever this is, whatever this money boost is, you're supposed to use it and transform it so you're not living um, check to check or going through the same cycles, okay? Yeah, I feel like something turned your life upside down, but now it's got you like, I'm a go-getter now. You know, I'm going to start looking at my life. I'm really going to start making changes. And some of you are going to be dealing with issues of the heart a little bit differently. But again, they don't want things that have hurt you to set you back. 
You know how we watch a scary movie and then we've created a new fear for ourselves? That's what the ancestors are saying. They're like, don't, you know, watch the scary movie to create a new fear for yourself. You know, don't do that. You know, yes, you went through something that you may not have experienced before, but don't let it hold you back. Learn from the experience and move forward. Matter of fact, conquer it and keep going forward. Okay? Because they got you on a mission. They also want you to stop giving your money to things that don't uh, have value for you. Okay? Um, they want you to start making investments and in things that are actually going to help your future. Look at your long-term goals. Your long-term, yeah, because they're like you giving out energy, money, uh, resources to things that only provide a temporary happiness, and it's not really doing anything for you. So your ancestors really want you to plan for bigger things. Okay. Just a few more cards. I feel like they've said what they need to say. So I'm gonna get a few more cards and we'll close out. All right. For some of you, it's like your ancestors are like, hey, you know, we've told you about these people. We've told you about this person. And it's like you're not paying attention to them or the messages that they're relaying to you. Um, so it's kind of like, hey, you're going to have things go on around you that, you that aren't necessary because you keep going back to the same people or dealing with the same thing from the same people. So they really want you to receive the messages that they give you and take them seriously uh, when they've shown you the true colors of someone, okay? Keep them at a distance. Don't keep them, uh, you know, near, near your foundation or, or where you are prospering, okay? Some of you who aren't connected to your ancestors, this is very few of you, because you should be connected watching this channel, but, um... Those of you who don't feel connected to your ancestors, you do need to get the connection, all right? Because they are the ones who will protect you from the snakes in the grass. But for some of you, it's kind of like you, you, you know, you know your ancestors have told you about these people um, and certain things that you should do to protect yourself, but you're not doing it or you're forgetting certain things that they've taught you through certain initiations that you've gone through. And if this doesn't apply now, it could apply to you later. So they might be like, hey, keep a watchful eye on certain things. Make sure you're keeping up with your protection practices because snakes are trying to get closer to you. All right. It's interesting that it's like the same messages here because you have cleanse yourself, which means, you know, wash off the negative energy and be mindful of your health in reverse. So some of you are not being mindful of your health. Um, and your well-being, all right? And connect to nature. And connected to nature means putting yourself back in alignment with nature, back in harmony, mind, body, and spirit, all right? And it's kind of the same thing here. So uh, some of you need to realign yourself with nature so that you can feel better, okay? If you're dealing with depression, low vibrational energy, uh, some of you also need to eat better, okay? Take more water in your body. Um, express yourself. Take a breath. Remove toxic energy. Some of you aren't able to express yourself in the way that you want to, so you need to start speaking up for yourself. Don't let people bring you out of character either. Control your emotions. But express yourself at the same time. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Peace, peace, peace.